guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's question is from one of my supporters on Patreon. And the question was, how do I avoid back and neck pain when I'm drawing for so many hours? So what I have, the table that I draw on is actually something that um, my boyfriend built for me. And he built a huge wooden, um, obviously, tabletop and then attached to the bottom is an adjustable um, fold-up table. So that adjustable fold-up table allows me to adjust the height of the table um, to three different sorts of heights. So I have it adjusted to the highest height so that I can stand and draw. Um, I also have a watch or you could use your phone or whatever you want to kind of remind you every hour to kind of move around a bit so what I do is I would probably sit for an hour and then my watch would remind me that I need to move around and then I will move my chair away and I will stand for the next hour and draw and change it up like that um, the chair that I sit on is just one of those um, sort of like kitchen island chairs that you can adjust the height on that um, just a normal study chair is not um, high enough for me to do that but if you can avoid sitting down you're probably better off standing and um, still when you're standing make sure your back is still straight and that you are able to um, not put any pressure on your neck by trying to stand over a table because the table is too low so you may want to figure out how to adjust the different heights if you can another option is if you don't have a table that you can adjust the heights to is to get a gym ball so there's a lot of these big um, gym balls out there and they come in a number of sizes so it might be worthwhile figuring out what size gym ball will be the best for you to still have your legs under the table and have your back straight and not arched over your work and then um, you could do it that way as well because a gym ball encourages a lot of movement um, more than it would on a chair and because it's so bouncy it also takes off a lot of hard pressure off of your back so it's good to have that as another option and then um, try and have a reminder by you to move around every hour or so just to get you moving and um, go to the kitchen get yourself a glass of water make yourself a cup of tea come back and get started again or um, go and put a load of washing in or do something like that but every hour just get moving and um just take all that pressure off of your body i know that when you draw sometimes you get into such a mind space that you're just in the zone that you don't want to move away so that's fine don't move away then but move your body <laughs> so stand up or just wiggle around on your gym ball or just Get some movement in your body so that you just you aren't sitting in the same position all the time. That is also a good time for you to do some stretches. So do some stretches with your neck, do some stretches with your arms, and um, just try and remind yourself to straighten your back. I do arch. I have to remind myself to straighten my back a lot. But I have found that since I've started standing, it's made a big difference. I haven't I don't get neck and back pain as much as what I did. Um, the standing up helps a lot and it's good because you're not sitting on your bum all day you're still standing and you're getting extra movement in and when you are standing you I find that I automatically move a lot more than what I would obviously when I'm sitting so it's easy to move about the room or the table because you're already standing and you tend to get that movement in anyways so I don't know if that was useful but that is how I avoid neck and back pain is by trying to stand and I have reminders to get me moving around the house a little bit um, every hour so that I am not caught in the same position all the time. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.